On November 5th, Democrat Bill de Blasio and Republican Joe Loda will be checking the same box. No, not for mayor. Both will be voting yes on Proposal 1. Prop 1 keeps good jobs and casino revenue in New York instead of sending them out of state and brings hundreds of millions of dollars in new aid to our schools. That's a recently released spot here from New York Jobs Now. It's Coalition of Business, the labor groups pushing for casino gaming uh, in New York State. New poll indicates their efforts may be working here. When New York City residents were asked if they support the proposed amendment, which would, quote, allow the legislature to authorize up to seven casinos in New York State for the legalized purposes, I, I love the language of this, of promoting job growth, increasing aid to schools, and permitting local governments to lower property taxes through revenues generated. They should ask, do you love your mother? Most supported it. Um, now, language notwithstanding, mm -hmm. Rich, there's very little secret here, um, which is, and to be fair, you, you're probably one of the first guys who were talking about this. Next year, Governor Cuomo, we can ascribe political aspirations in 16 for another night, but he's going to be talking about cutting taxes, and that's going to cut funding to the cities. A lot of people believe there's a quid pro quo. He says, listen, the revenue I'll get from the games will offset the money that, we'll, that you guys would have lost. He's not saying that. No? This, no, 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 no. The, the, the revenue, if that's any, three notes, from the this comes, one, yeah. <laughs> will, will, will be used for school aid. It is not necessarily an additive. It could be used to replace existing well, revenue. Gaming, 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 gaming. the shortfall that the cities would have gotten from Albany otherwise if taxes weren't lowered? No. It's not intended for that, and it could be a good thing in, without that. The answer I gave you does not necessarily mean that people shouldn't vote for it. Look, the evidence that casino gambling is a good economic uh, bet for any municipality, state, whatever, is very sparse. Atlantic City is the key, is the best example. It's, it's a business that's, that's sick, uh, cir cyclical. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> it, it also has the capacity to tank, as we've seen in Jersey. People want it because it's aspirational. That's what it is. And the optics if look you, good, Dom, right? If you, you see stuff's getting built. If you Let me just say this. If you put on the ballot proposition, uh, seven casinos for the purpose of increasing the amount of addictive behavior among the populace, okay, but it would not be a He's gone on long enough now. It's true. <laughs> I apologize. I understand about the addictive nature of gambling. I agree with you on that. But what else would you do with downtown Syracuse, a place that I love, it's not going but, into but it looks like somebody dropped a bomb it's on it. Not going what would you do with Syracuse. downtown Binghamton and upstate Buffalo What would you, and, and Liberty? The, what would you do with these well, areas? First of all, we're talking about seven casinos, mm -hmm. of which three or four are going to be downstate. It's not gonna, you don't, you're not going to have one everywhere. This has, if, if it works, it will have a marginal, helpful economic effect. Whatever its negative effects can be weighed into that. It's just, it, don't overpromise is the is the. I, is the I agree. So we look at the state list. Right now we have the example of stadium building, Yankee Stadium, Mets. You know, they add as much revenue as they take out. So it's like neutral at the end of the day. And it's the casinos will be the same way. I don't think we feel any economic boom from building the casinos. The point that Dominic makes is I will take people to the Catskills where they're talking about putting one of these. If you look around what they have now, it can't make it worse. You know, it, it can't. You they know. got nothing right now. And, nothing. You, and historically, the data's on Richard's side. You look around, especially after about five, six years, and with the oversaturation of casinos that are so easy to find, it ain't like it was 20 years ago. It, I get it. The big, but, at the, but the alternative, as Dominic said, is what? The big change in the pay about this was five days ago when the gaming industry agreed to stop paying slave wages to the yep. employees yep. In, in Queens, they were making $20,000 a year. That's economic development? I think no. not. And online gaming, trust me, internet gaming where the casinos will be getting into it, at least in the Garden State, that's also a big part of this conversation too. All right, we come back here. You gotta see the story to believe it. Nevada lawmaker stirring national outrage because he said he'd vote for slavery if that's what his constituents wanted. Forget what he was thinking here. I want to get the idea about representing what your constituents have to say, even if it's so off base. Stay with us. We'll be right back.